Consider yourself lucky if you are able to find an at-home COVID test. For many, getting the test is just the beginning. As Andrea Lucia reports, the wait time for results is now the latest hurdle. As COVID cases have risen, so have wait times to get tested. Like two hours. And the wait to get results. One viewer showed us she still hasn't received her results from a test taken more than a week ago. Another told us he was forced to use his PTO for the six days he had to be off from work waiting. And yet another who ended up positive said his quarantine was basically over by the time he got his test results, confirming the need to quarantine. Because, I mean, that's what I am today. I just want to know one way or the other. The American Clinical Laboratory Association reports the latest wave of infections has created not just an increase in demand, but in the number of lab workers out sick, a significant factor in determining overall capacity labs can handle. Quest Diagnostics reports its turnaround time is now averaging two to three days, the longest it's reported in more than a year. Shipping delays can also cause problems. One man showed us it took FedEx three days to get what should have been an overnight shipment of his specimen to the lab. The ACLA, which represents labs, says it's talking to the White House about the challenges they're facing. If you do need immediate results, you can take a rapid test, though they are generally less accurate than a PCR test. For that reason, many sites are now recommending people do both. Andrea Lucia. CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you. And FedEx tells CBS 11 the reason for the delays on their end, staffing shortages caused by COVID, as well as severe weather impacting hubs in Memphis and along both coasts.